In this demonstration, we will explore SSL Strip. SSL Strip is a tool, much like Attercap, that relies on art poisoning to do its job. Let's discuss the setup we have. In the top left of the screen, um, actually entire left-hand side, um, is a virtual machine of Alice. Alice is the victim here. She is the person who is being targeted by this attacker. Alice has a terminal window open and a web browser. On the right-hand side of the window, we'll see two terminal windows on the attacker's uh, desktop. When we explore the web browser, we'll see that um, I've loaded some pages from compsci.adelphi.edu slash dildelearner slash sslstrip.html. Um, these pages are loaded over unencrypted HTTP, so there is no security happening here. However, the links on the page, if you look on the bottom left of the web browser window, you'll see that those are HTTPS links. HTTPS, adelphi.edu, google.com, and moodle.adelphi.edu. If a user clicks on these links, they'll go straight to those websites without any issues. Um, anyone who would be sitting in the middle would be unable to do anything because the encryption would prevent them from understanding what we are doing. Now, let's go set up for our demo. First, we're going to um, watch our um, art table. Um, and we'll see that our gateway address, that is the address that we use to get off our local area network and onto, in this case, the CompSci server or any of the internet-based resources, is 10021, with a hardware address of 525400, etc. Um, that, of course, if we're going to do our ARP poisoning, is going to change because we want to position ourselves between, in this case, Alice and the gateway. So we're just going to keep an eye on the hardware address um, in this um, ARP window. Over here, uh, we do a little bit of setup on the Unix box. So first, um, we need to uh, give ourselves administrative privileges to do that. Um, and that means at this point, we got to turn on some um, routing issues. But once that is done, um, our Linux box can now function as a router in the network. We're going to ARP spoof as a command line tool. Um, we're going to use our network interface. Um, the target um, is Eve. Um, I should have checked that before we started here, if that is still the same. But we'll see that um, Eve on the number two here, let's highlight it, um, is 10.0217. Um, and here is our network interface on Eve's side as well. Good. So that still holds. We're still on 10.02.17 and 10.02.1 is the gateway. So in other words, we're going to position ourselves between 17 and 1. Keep an eye on the MAC address of the gateway. So this one here is what we want to keep an eye on. Poof, now it changed. So at this point, we have executed a successful man in the middle attack. And Eve believes that even though her IP address of the gateway has not changed, um, she now believes that um, the MAC address of the gateway is actually Eve's computer. And Eve's computer is able to route traffic. We want to also run SSL strip on port 8000, um, which will basically say anytime that we load an HTTP page containing HTTPS links, let's on the fly replace all of those HTTPS links with HTTP links so that the end user um, in their web page, and let me reload this um, again. Look at the link before. On the bottom left, we see HTTPS moodle.adelphi.edu. Reload. Now we see moodle.adelphi.edu without the HTTPS. Even if we look at the source code of the page, you see that there is no longer an HTTPS here, it's just an HTTP. That's what this tool SSL strip did. It replaced all the SSL links with HTTP links. It has already positioned itself as a man in the middle, and that means that the encryption has now effectively been turned off, and um, on this side, Eve can intercept traffic and look what's going on. I can still click all of those links. Um, nothing will change, because most websites are set up to redirect that traffic anyway. So I can go to Google, <coughs> excuse me. I can go to Moodle. The only difference would be that um, these websites no longer see the traffic as originating from us, um, from 
Alice's IP address, they'll see the traffic as originating from Eve's IP address. But what we've been doing by inserting ourselves in the middle is removing the security of the HTTP link, allowing man in the middle attacks without having to worry about um, pop-ups that say, hey, you know, the certificate doesn't match or you're dealing with an unknown certificate authority. To end this, we have to stop ARPing the gateway. So I'm gonna hit Control C in the SSL strip window. That will, uh, sorry, over here um, in the um, ARP spoof window. That will trigger um, the program to re-ARP um, Eve uh, Alice, sorry, with the correct IP address. So that from that point on, Alice now knew something happened. So here we go, Control C, re-arping target, and we'll see our gateway has already turned back over here in this window um, to what it was before. If I reload this page again, um, hard reload, we'll see that all of the links are back to HTTPS on the bottom. Just to double check that in the source code, now it says HTTPS again. The SSL strip man in the middle attack has concluded. Important to realize once again that this is an attack that relies on layer two man in the middle abilities, which means that the attacker must share a local area network with the victim. Um, and that is something that um, is harder to accomplish. So the risk of an attack like this um, is not as great as it is for some of the internet based attacks, but if there is a vector, then this is a very effective one.